what's the concept of micro habits then and the value? I mean, is it because the discussion or, or what I was interested in you discussing was people think, you know, in order for me to change my life, I have to make big changes and then, then I will be effective. You know, tomorrow I will be a totally different person. You know, Monday morning I'll wake up and I won't eat bad food and I'll go to the gym and I'll do all the stuff and I'll study so six hours a day. That's right. So we, it's actually interesting that it's always a Monday morning, right? It's always, <laughs> yeah, it's always, it's always one January, yeah. Monday morning. Monday morning. It's the same yeah. thing. It's I have, a, I have a new start, a fresh start. And by the way, research shows that Saturday morning, believe it or not, are the best time to start a new habit. Just so you know. And, not when um, it comes to not eating Monday. well. <laughs> okay, and that's presuming you're working a five-day week. Yeah, but right. it's actually a good time. You don't have the pressure of having to wake up early, be your job in time, so True. you're reducing things. And this actually speaks to um, introducing micro-habits okay. and, and, and applying thin layers. So our popular psychology movement has actually – created a disservice in that it's created ideas of massive change. Yes. And, and then you'll see um, people, spokespeople and salespeople, and, yeah. and there will be individuals who have completely shifted their life. Overnight yeah. changes. Overnight, yeah. Yeah. The life but hack kind of. Exactly. Yeah. So in one step, I went from being um, an overweight, alcoholic, and, yeah. loser with no job to running this amazing firm. But what's not being told is everything that individual has to do in between. You're not seeing that. Um, and what actually applies is the law of the compound yeah. effect and the yeah. power of compounding. And we always think of compounding in terms of finance. Yeah, and compound money. interest. Okay. We know that. We know that. Compound interest. Yeah. Right? Okay. But we forget that that same power yeah. can apply in our lives. And making a very small change if you if you had to change for example strength by one percent a week yeah um that could compound as long as you're consistent with it mm. into something really really big over the course of a year and imagine yeah. over 10 years but it also does something else once you start laying down a new path and compounding something very slowly you then are very quickly opening up um, the ability to leverage other parts of your life. You sort of have confidence that you can change is the one okay. thing. So there's a psychological shift yeah, that yeah. occurs. You have a, a new belief that, yes, I can make a change. Because when you're trying to make very big changes on an ongoing basis, you keep getting feedback that you're Fading. perhaps a failure. Yeah. Yeah. I, can't, I actually can't do it, so there's no point in like, I can't do it and I never get it right and so this time's gonna be not gonna be any different, so why bother? I think it's it's very similar to to the types of things that I discuss with my, my students in study coaching is make the small changes. Do something to improve because the confidence comes from doing. Mm. And I think um, you know, especially as per perfectionists and as fixed mindsets, we wanna feel ready and confident before we do. Sure. You know, I want to feel like I'm confident to do this before I do it. Where in reality, as you say, once you start making some changes, your brain goes, oh, hey, I'm actually capable of doing stuff. I can stretch myself more. The confidence comes from doing, not the other way around. And that's extremely, I mean, it's obvious. It sounds easy, but it's extremely difficult for a perfectionist and for someone with a fixed mindset to go, I'm just going to like close my eyes, mm. do something, and then... And it's very, very true. And one of the reasons we want to make big changes is we want immediate payoff, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, instant gratification. Yeah. Must we want to see now. something has changed and yeah. we want to feel something has changed. Yeah. Um, so what you have to do when you make these micro changes is find some way of tracking it. Even if it's ticking off getting a year oh, calendar, right. setting up, okay, I want to make, I want to, I want to add a little change every day or a week, yeah. and then every every day you accomplish that little change, you put it in yeah. the you've got something visual. Yeah. Don't take a nap when you get home from work, 
<laughs> yeah, so every time don't take a nap when you get yeah. home from it. Just for one week. Just for like one take week. it and off. You just like take it off yeah. Monday did not small, take a nap. It's a very, very small change. Yeah. Right? But you're not saying I'm not gonna take a nap and I'm gonna go to the gym and hit the gym for yeah. an hour and I'm gonna eat perfectly. You've now laid yeah. it later, and stay for six hours exactly. and right. Okay. So you've you've already applied lots of pressure on your, your mind and body to shift. Yeah. But um, it does something else that kicks in. It's it takes you out of your head. And I presume most accountants are kind of head people. You know, that's where they get their energy and their focus from. And it puts it into the physical. It puts it out there, takes it out of the head, and it's physically visible. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we love to quantify. Yeah. We love, yeah, it must be quantifiable. We yeah. want to feel it. We, it must be tangible. It must be quantifiable. And having, yeah, having a list that I can tick off makes me feel like I've accomplished exactly. something. Even if I don't feel good about it, because it takes a while yeah. to, like, feel it. I can see my little text on a page. I feel self-righteous about it. <laughs> and that's good. And use that to inspire you and energize yeah. you for the next thing. Yeah. So I think, yeah, so the, 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 the value and the reason I wanted to have this discussion was to encourage to encourage people and, as I said, as part of the study coaching that I do, is the small changes are valuable. We we feel like okay it's Monday and now I haven't done the three hours of studying tonight that I, that I said that I was going to do it's all a waste I'm going to have to wait until next Monday. <laughs> so bad, so sad. Um, you know I'm a failure etc cetera, etc. Cetera. But the, I really like that idea of micro habits and the compound effect of all I did this week was just didn't take a nap. You That's know when I came true. home and. You know, I've got students who have done that, and by the end of the week, that like actually the the impact has been that I've done more questions, and so I feel more effective. So now I'm actually okay with sacrificing the nap. So then I give them a slightly different habit. I give them a different habit to do, but there's no way that I could dump it all on them at once because it's just too much, and that I can't do that. That's just too much of a too much of a difference.